Hi everyone, happy morning. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about why product name changed from VMware NSX T data center to VMware NSX and session three and introducing the VMware NSX new version 4.0.1 and goodbye to NSX T welcome VMware NSX. OK. Here is the agenda, so we'll cover all these five questions. So why the product name change from NSXT data center to NSX and what are the key features of VMware NSX 4.0.1 and what the NSX upgrade evaluation tool will do and will not do and will there be any impact on NSX manager functionality while running the NSX upgrade evaluation tool and how the how does this evaluation tool ensure no impact on my NSX deployment more specifically the NSX manager. OK, so before we start the topic, uh, one of our famous well known quotes are there is nothing wrong with the change if it is in the right direction. OK, so we expect VMware also change the product name for the right direction only. So the, this new name better reflects the multi faced value that NSX bring to our customers. And this update is superficial in the products graphical user interface GUI as well as documentation. Even even in the documentation also VMware already changed the name from NSX T data center to NSX. Suppose if we quickly open the any of the browser. Let's say even if you see VMware documentation also previously we have NSX 2.5, 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, but now the name is changed to NSX 4.0 and the current publicly available version is 4.0.1. OK, so all the what you information when you have spare time just to go through this VMware official documentation. OK, the key points I will cover now. So this is the one uh, document. Everything is uh, product document. Everything is now the name is reflected as a VMware NSX instead of VMware NSX T. And this change has no impact on the functionality of the product. So the functionality of NSX is still the same. So as we are aware, NSX means networking and security platform. Security can run on any platform. X means any platform and changes to the api application program interfaces that impacts the compatibility with previous releases so still the backward compatibility is available and for the new ns vmware nsx4 series version our apis are changed okay so within our uh, architecture wise there will be no changes so networking security tailored design and one click automation we can run on any of the environments our VMware NSX 4.0. OK, there are some additional key points for this. Why they change NSX T to NSX and still the functionality as we know it's the same and VMware NSX provides an agile software defined infrastructure to build cloud native application environments. OK, and NSX focused on providing networking and security automation and operational simplicity that means tailored design for emerging application frameworks so applications frameworks and architectures that have heterogeneous environments heterogeneous means it can be nsx can be run on bare metal and on premises data center vmware cloud we can run on outposts that means it's a private cloud and public cloud any environments we can free to use the nsxt earlier but now we can say that instead of nsxt name we can call it as vmware nsx 4.0 version okay and heterogeneous endpoint environments and technology stacks okay now nsxt data center now onwards wherever you saw the nsxt data center version it is also known as vmware nsx okay so it may take some time to familiarize with the new name vmware nsx and what are the key features of VMware NSX 4.0.1? The main key features in this version is 
access the NSX user interface through IPv6. Earlier, our NSXT we can access only with the IP version 4 only, but from the latest version NSX 4.0.1, we can access our management interface. We can access through IPv6 external facing management plane, introduces supported for IP version 6 communication from external systems with NSX management cluster local manager only. OK, so we have to learn IPv6 concept also. In our previous sessions during the vSphere concepts, I covered the IPv4 basics. It is a 32 bit addressing. When it comes to IPv6, it's a 128 bit addressing. So in our later sessions, I will explain you the brief, brief overview of IPv6 as well. OK. And the NSX manager now supports dual stack. That means IP version 4, IP version 6 in the external management interface. IPv6 only deployments are not suppo supported in this release. So suppose if you want to manage your VMware NSX environment with IP version 6 only, with this release, it's not supported. Maybe in the future releases, it may we have a facility to deploy only with IP version 6. But as of now, it's supported for both. We have to use both IP version 4 and IP version 6. And along with this, there are some additional features in IP version 6. The following external communication and systems are supported and access NSX user interface through IPv6 and access NSX API also, application program interface also through IP version 6. And IPv6 communication with vCenter. Suppose if you want to communicate with vCenter server, Present with this release, vCenter services clients using vCenter extension manager to communicate with NSX managers such as LCM, lifecycle manager, and also the workload uh, workload container platform. That means vSphere with the Tanju and supervisor cluster will be using IP version 4 to connect to NSX manager. Maybe at present still these platforms LCP, LCM, WCP, workload container platform. These are all supporting for a IP version 4. Maybe in the future release, we may expect it will also support for a IP version 6. OK, and IP version 6, it's supported for centralized syslog and also the IP and SNMP, simple network management protocol for monitoring purpose. And even using IPv6, we can also connect to the secure shell. So IP version 6, it's also supported for SFTP based backup and restore secure file transfer protocol. And IPv6 communication with the DNS server, mainly for name resolution between IP address and host name. And also the it will also communicate to our network time protocol server for time synchronization purpose and we can use cluster virtual IP address using IP version 6 and IP version 6 interaction with operation tools like we realize network insight and also the we realize login site and we realize operations manager we are ops OK, and apart from this, there are other key features also in with this NSX 4.0 version. Those key features include earlier we have NVDS. That means an NSX based virtual distributed switch. It's a completely deprecated completely on ESXi host and VDS must be used with this latest version. VDS means our, as we are aware, it's a vSphere distributed switch. OK, and apart from this, one additional benefit of this version is faster upgrade benefit up to 10 percent reduction in NSX upgrade time overall to use the maintenance windows more effectively. When you compare with our previous version NSX T 3.2 and with this version, 10 percent of time is reducted, OK, reduced and NSX distributed firewall has now added support for the following versions for physical servers, which includes RHEL 8 series version and Ubuntu 20, 20 series version and also the CentOS. With this bare metal platforms, we can still uh, now NSX distribution firewall also added support and block malicious IPs in distributed firewall is a new capability that allows the ability to block traffic to and from malicious IPs. And this one, if you are already have existing NSX environments, we, this feature will not be turned on explicitly. We have to do manually. Suppose for the new deployment, new if you are deploying freshly the NSX 4.0.1 and this black malicious IPs in distributed firewall feature is default enabled state. 
Okay, so these are the main key features in NSX 4.0. In our later sessions, I will show you the installation procedure and what is the main key components in our NSX 4.0 architectural components and all we can discuss in the next session. But uh, in our uh, some of our viewers, I am receiving the emails. They are asking the questions where based on our previous session. I talk about the NSX V2T migration. So during the NSX V2T migration, we discuss we have three types of migrations, which includes uh, first one is we can use migration coordinator and second one is coexist model and third one is lift and shift. And they are also asking about one of the tool. Is it really needed to use? But as per the VMware, it recommend to use one of the tool, the tool name called NSX Upgrade Evolution Tool. So what the NSX Upgrade Evolution Tool will do, will not do, will discuss. Because uh, whoever asked this question, I'm answering with this video. OK, and even the name itself, it clearly says NSX Upgrade Evolution Tool. Evolution Tool means it's mainly used for a assessment purpose only. OK, so we can understand what this tool will do and this will what is it? this will this tool will not do. OK, so let's understand the key point. This this is a tool to detect NSX manager data migration related issues that can be catch before running the NSX upgrade. So it will it will be helpful for us to assess our existing NSX environment and find out if there are any issues on our NSX manager level. That is the one key benefit. And what another thing this tool will do is this tool is to quickly assess the readiness of NSX manager for an upgrade. So that is the reason it's recommend to run this tool before we plan for NSX manager upgrade. Before we doing the upgrade state, we have to run this tool. OK, and another key point is this tool will not fix any issue that may be detected in the customer's NSX environment. OK, this is the key point. This tool will not able to fix any issues, but only to help us to show the what is the issues in our NSX manager layer. OK, and another key point is this is not a replacement for pre upgrade checks that pre upgrade checks still we need to follow. But apart from the pre upgrade checks, we have to use this tool to assess our existing infrastructure. OK, and which cover the entirely of the deployment, including the edge and host transport node. OK, this edge and host transport node and all I will cover clearly in the later sessions. OK, this is the quick overview of NSX upgrade evaluation tool, what it will do and what it will not do. OK, and even if you want to download this tool also, we can download it from the VMware downloads link. Let's say let me quickly show you how we can download. Suppose when you type in the Google, you can see download VMware NSX T data center, but still name is showing as T data center. But if you see the selected version, already the new version is started reflecting. It's a 4.x and the current publicly available download version is 4.0.1. OK, this is the only the first officially available version and we have flavors NSX T data center standard, professional, advanced and enterprise plus. Normally in the, this licensing methods, Definitely enterprise plus only have all the full capabilities. OK, and if you want to see how to download the NSX upgrade evaluation tool, how we can do it is you can choose any of your license based on your customer license, choose the specific product and go to the download section. When you go to the download section, we can see the download product VMware NSX. Suppose if I expand here, if you see here, this product released is exactly the last week so 2nd august only released last tuesday vmware officially released this product so exactly one week ago so i will also do the some testing on my home lab and i will show you the actual installation procedures in the next session OK, and you can download the NSX manager, global manager and service manager. This is the one unified appliance we can download to install. And similarly, when you're planning for your existing NSX environment to NSX upgrade with the latest version 4.0, just scroll down here under the product download section. If you scroll down here, there is a separate 
plugins are available application platform kubernetes tools edge edge separately if you want to run on bare metal there is a separate iso and similarly for esx if you download here you can see nsx upgrades so during the nsx upgrade we have a separate upgrade bundle whoever the customers are using nsx t they want to upgrade to 4 series you may use this one but for the tool we discussed today is nsx upgrade evaluation tool this is the tool this is a open virtual appliance format you can download this tool its appliance means it's easy to install we can import how we deployed the vmware vcenter server appliance same way this ova also we can deploy through vcenter server or esx host it's easy to deploy if you are interested i will show you this deployment procedure also in the later session but the download option is available directly under the product downloads go to the vmware upgrade nsx upgrade section you will find this tool nsx upgrade evaluation tool okay so let's back to the when we are using this tool normally the customer may come up with few questions that question will discuss now one common question is most of the time when we are introducing a new tool to the customer the customer definitely ask the few expected questions one common question is will there be any impact on nsx manager functionality while running this nsx upgrade evaluation tool definitely there will be no impact so that point is here there will be no impact uh, there will not be any functional impact on nsx manager and all other nsx manager operations can run normally while the tool is running most of the time customer when we give this justification they will satisfy but some of the customers they will also come up with a some cross questions that question is they will also ask this question as well how does this nsx upgrade evaluation tool ensure no impact on my nsx deployment more specifically the nsx manager so this scenario we have to provide some more technical justification to convince our customers okay so the convincing point is here the tool the tool means here our upgrade evaluation tool will create a copy of curfew db it will prepare a copy of curfew db database copy on the nsx manager appliance in the form of tar file tar file means it's like a normal in windows windows systems we call it as zip file or rar file same way in appliance level it is in the tar file so this tar file and copy it in its own appliance so it will copy this curfew db file to the our upgrade evaluation tool appliance this tar will then removed from the nsx manager ensuring complete isolation of nsx manager from the tools operations okay this is how we can give the justification to customer okay hope you i answered your question in this session okay that's it for today thank you if you are watching this video first time please subscribe if you are already subscribed thanks for your support and encouragement bye for now